Hey, hey, warm it up. Welcome to Glow and Grow. My name is Tim Lolo Adurujai, and on here I review faith based movies and also share the lessons that I learned from them. So, in today's get um, review episode, I am reviewing the movie called Lydie's Note. Lydie's Note is currently, as at the time that I'm recording this video, on Dam Lola Mike Bamloy's YouTube channel, and you can watch it for free. So, Lydie's Note centers around Lydie and her navigating through life and um anxiety about getting married and who she was going to get married to and how she kind of pulled herself together went through trials and figured it out at the end so that's really the summary of like these notes i have a couple of things that i wrote down that i might like have to look down to check to make sure that i'm not missing anything first of all let's talk about the acting uh, Lady was amazing. Lady's real name is Anukola Day, if I'm not mistaken, and it was fantastic. She did an amazing job bringing Lady's character to life. She was just impeccable, you know. Um, every other person in that movie was also great. They all brought their A game. I didn't have a problem with their acting. I could believe them. I could relate with them. I could see parts of myself in Lady. Really, to be honest, I had no problem with the crew as well. And it was directed by. I'll put her name i can't remember her real name yet but she was the girl who acted as um dummy's girlfriend or dummy's fiance in the ignition yeah and it was amazing she did a great job directing because everybody was on point summary so i give acting such a great credit i thought they were really amazing everybody who acted in that movie so now to the lessons that i learned first one is that Hearing from God, knowing God is a gradual process. It's something that you need to keep at. And in this journey of knowing God and hearing from God and recognizing his voice, there are some times that you would think you heard God, but it actually wasn't God. So what this means is that you would actually think that it was God and you would probably do it and then it will backfire or something will shall not go right and then you will realize at the end of the day that oh that wasn't god speaking to you and that's part of the journey of knowing and recognizing god's voice so in that moment don't be discouraged don't be um disappointed like don't just want to leave everything keep at it it's, it's part of the journey it's part of the journey of knowing god and i say this because lady thought william was a husband she thought she heard god and stuff like that and she was really ready to push for it and all those kind of things but that wasn't god's will for her so um and because she was also like anxious and stuff so she really that it's a mistake god's voice for something else and that got anyways that didn't lead that to a good place so basically just make sure that in this journey realize that sometimes you can actually think that you heard god but it's not god and don't now say like oh i'm done with this christian thing thing and stuff like that just keep at it you would eventually know and get used to his voice that kind of thing so that's the first lesson second lesson that i learned from this movie is keep good friends to tell you the truth friends that you can pray with friends that you can share your hearts with and when i mean share your heart i mean even go to topics that normally on a normal day you'll be like ah, i'm a christian sister or i'm a christian brother i should not be talking about things like that but yeah share your thoughts about liking the opposite sex um different things really a lot of things maybe your struggle with masturbation your struggle with pornography have good friends that you can share this thing even older people older mentors older friends that you can really share your heart with that are godly and that would give you the good advice that you need the truth will hurt you it will pain you it will you know you will stagger and be like mm, that one hits me but it's the truth and it will set you on the right path um also the flip side of this is be a good friend so basically that means that if you want good friends around you, you be that good friend. You be that one who prays for your friends. You be that one who checks up on them. You be that one that they can actually come to and share um, their vulnerable life with you or their vulnerable experiences with you that will counsel them in the way of the Lord. So as much as we're looking for good friends, let us also take time to evaluate ourselves and be those and be that good friend or be those good friends actually be that good friend be eager the other point is don't be eager to go into a relationship so in this relationship journey or in this marriage journey you'll be anxious at some point 
certainly for people getting married around you you might be anxious let me say you'll be anxious um or people around you are asking so how far this guy and stuff like that um and you're just like yeah nothing like there's nobody i'm in a serious thing with there's nobody that i really feel or i've met that i know that okay i'm in sync with this person but you don't want to manage somebody that you know in the long run they might not really end up well even though they are good people or they are just not your good people like your person you know don't settle for less basically don't be eager to go into a relationship don't be so make your decisions based on anxiety because at the end of the day, when all this thing have clear from your eyes and you can see road well, you will not be happy. So trust God, trust God's timing. God is the author of time. So people might be saying you need to get married at this age, but they are not the author of time. God's timing is perfect. God's timing is the standard. So build your relationship with God, get it right with God, and just keep trusting that He will bring your best to you. He will definitely bring your best to you. So I'm saying it now. It's actually easy to see because there's sometimes even a bit of your God, what's going on? What's going on? But keep. You just have to keep holding on to the scripture that He makes all things beautiful in His time. Okay, when the time is right, the Lord will make it happen. Um, I think that's about everything that I wanted to say. And also, lastly, <laughs> please tell your friends. Oh, it's, it's a little bit dicey because, and that's why I said keep good friends, because you want to also be able to tell them when you like somebody. So in case the person is also liking the same guy or the guy is actually asking the same girl out or two girls at a time in your crew, you people know and you're away. So keep good friends so that you can be able to tell them that, okay, this is how I'm feeling no, towards this guy. And then everybody be like, oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, no, nobody is um, in your territory, that kind of thing. I don't know how it goes with guys, but doesn't really anyways just tell your friends <laughs> if you like somebody so that everybody is on the same page with you concerning the like i think that's about everything uh script writing we had to just clap for the script writer everybody did amazing in this movie or on this movie and i really enjoyed it did such an excellent job you guys should go check it out like this note damnola mike bamelo's youtube channel um i'll see you guys in my next video Bye. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, 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 okay. See you guys. The first one is learning God. I mean, learning to know. <laughs> Wait. The first one is that. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this, is, this is a lot of work. One, two, three. Hi everyone, welcome to Glow and